All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and to Spartacus here's Journey Through Skyrim, where we played the dual wield orc warrior um, on legendary difficulty and going through Skyrim. We'll be today. We yes, for a little recap, we finished a bunch of stuff in White Run. We got the first dragon killed over by the wa Watchtower, uh, so those are unlocked. Words of Power are unlocked. Um, we don't have any dragon souls to, to utilize yet, um, but we did use some of our gold to purchase the Breeze Home, and it has a uh, little chest in here, so we were able to dump off and offload all of, a bunch of like alchemy mats and stuff like that. And I got our weight down, so now what we're actually going to do is we're going to try and go get our first Word of Power for the shout we want to use, which is the Unrelenting uh, Force. Not, no, I lied. I lied there. It's the Elemental Fury. And um, so the first, the, the place where we're going to go is actually first down to uh, Falkreath over here. It's down here. Uh, I think it's the easiest one to get to. Um, it may have some tougher enemies, I believe it. Uh, since we did get pr approached already, uh, it's, pro it's probably going to have some mm, vampires in it. So it will allow, we'll, we'll use our gimmick, right? Our, our gimmick racial to, to probably, you know, beat up on any, uh, any rough enemies um so we'll use that uh, and without further ado we'll just get into this a uh, gameplay and we're not going to fast travel a bunch um preferably not not at all uh, i think it's a way to get out of running into dragons and i think it so i think it takes part of the story away so we'll limit our our fast travel uh, as much as we can but in this scenario we are uh, trying to go across the continent, so we will use the carriage here. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? Oh, we'd like to go to Falkreath. We'll nice so now we're not going to start any like major quests. We're really just coming down here to open up Falkreath and to um, to get to the that word of power that we were we were just talking about. We're still looking for alchemy mats. Um, we may go on an alchemy mat run uh, here in one of one of the upcoming videos. Um, there are a couple different places we like to go. You can actually do them at any, virtually at any level. Um, some of them, some of them tougher than others. Some of them more precarious than others. But uh, really, the two I like to do are. Um, the first one, the first one I like to do is here. I think in Morthal, um, you get some Canis root, which is really good for like paralyzed poison potions or po uh, poisons. Um, and then you, you, it's kind of this whole marsh here uh, that that has it has a bunch of bunch of really good uh, rare mats. Um, and then the other one I like to do is over here in Windhelm, and then basically you come down and you go up this this trail here um, and you just kind of follow the trail you'll get a bunch of creep cluster and um, dragon's tongue the creep cluster is really what you're after because uh, what, what basically you can combine it and wheat and I believe the giant's toe when uh, once you've done that and uh, that'll get you I believe it's the highest selling potion in the game. I believe there are, if you do the poisons and get poisons increased, um, it's, uh, it, it falls behind. Uh, I think there's a potion with bear claws, but yeah, so it's a, it's a really good way to make money. It's a really good way to level, uh, your, you know, your alchemy and stuff like that. So at some point we'll do that. I don't know when, um, probably when we need it, but, um, I'm trying, I'd like to keep out of the loop that you can get into in Legendary. I've touched on it before in some of the other videos where you, you know, your non-combat skills outscale your uh, regular combat skills. So you end up leveling your, you know, your, your alchemy and your enchanting and stuff like that. And now you're level 40, but you can't actually take on... And you can't use your swords because your one-handed's at 15. And uh, the mobs just have too much health. So then you, you end up in a real precarious problem there. There, which then causes you to, pro you know, look at 
essentially just power leveling skills, and uh, that can be that can be boring and tedious, and well, I feel like it uh, it ends up taking a bunch out of the game. So we're not looking to do that. We're looking to do combat as much as possible to keep our uh, our combat going. Here we've got a. Oh, I did that wrong. There we go. Um, here we've got a group of bandits. Get stagger. That one's down. More cacheros. No wonder it hurt. Oh, you're not gonna like that. Hmm, we got a critical strike on her. That was nice. That crit is uh it's just really, really powerful to have it available to you when you're um when you're not utilizing, you know, sneak. I enjoy it. So the one we're looking for, you can actually kind of see it. Um, when you get to Falkreath over there, and you look, a, when you're just first looking into Falkreath, you can actually see beyond it, and you can see these two. They actually kind of stack on top of each other, um, so that's kind of annoying when you get over here, but I believe they are the same thing. Um, one's just on one side of the mountain, one's on the other. So here we're going to come up here. Um, we're going to try and clear that out as quickly as possible. And we're like, uh, just like before, on the, or on the last dungeon, which I believe was um, Bleak Falls Barrow, we're going to try and speed the um, the combat up, the gameplay up, so that it's uh, not so much oriented on sneak. Um, not that we're out of the phase where we would need sneak, but as long if we can get um, some more damage coming into us, we can level our light armor faster. If we can get the... Um, you know, our one-handed up higher, we won't need it as much because moms won't take as long. So, th those are kind of what we're looking for. Um, we still use sneak to for for certain enemies. Like, uh, this one you can actually sneak and uh, pop into him and kill him almost instantly. But, um, the nice part uh, from my test runs is that this one seems to be pretty much uh, primarily utilized by or, or inhabited by skeletons and as you saw the skeletons are you know, they're a four shot so that's kind of nice the Draugr, um this regular Draugr is getting to be uh, you know a, a few more uh, few more hits than it used to be it's um it's not it's not bad because the stagger that we now have along with the extra stamina from our level ups etc um, seems to be working out really well it just makes it so that if we run into big enemies like um a restless dragger um i believe the vampires are in or there's like a couple vampires in here or anything like that um we either have to be perfect on like our shout stagger and utilize uh utilization of our dual wield power attack in order to stagger them and if we if we mess that up at all we're in we're in deep trouble but if um if we get that perfect, it's it's okay. Or or we can utilize the ratio with which we that uh, we picked for this. So, for example, uh, again, I gotta kill some enemies first. Um, oh, nice, an enchanted weapon. Oh, we're gonna disenchant then. Um, so I think if you go right, that actually goes up to the word of power. Being the um, we're the non-blitzer. We're going to try and complete everything in here or as much as we can. So we're going to go left first. So like here's a here's a thrall. Uh, yeah, we're definitely going to have some vampires in here. As you can see, this guy's a vampire's thrall. Uh, so that will be fun. Um, I don't think the vampire that, that has this thrall is actually very close. So um, we should be okay here. And then we, if we hit Q and we look, we scroll up, we don't have our Berserker Rage. So what we're going to do is wait. And you have to wait 12, uh, for 24 hours. I don't remember the last time, so I'm just going to wait like about 12 hours at a time uh, to find it. 
The nice part is that once you kill, uh, you can usually use the Berserker Rage to kill all the enemies in an area, and then jump, you know, use, you know, your sleep for, once it wears off, you sleep for, there it is, you sleep for, you know, 24 hours, you have it back, and, you know, it's it's ready for the next big fight. And it's the, it's the reason that we chose the Orc, it's the, um, the great equalizer of the legendary affix. Um, and hopefully, you know, and we are, we are getting better. We are definitely, um, progressing, but we are not strong enough to just blitz things down without it yet. Maybe, maybe once we have, you know, multiple words of the word of power, um, or, or multiple words out of the, what? No. Yeah. Multiple words out of the shout along with you know some better weapons maybe our smithing comes up or we just you know start getting drops um i think we you, I, think I generally start seeing glass start dropping at around i think it's level 30. um we're hoping to be into that uh, a little earlier we might have to purchase some materials We also we also may use um, our alchemy, right? We're we are going to level our alchemy because of how powerful it is just on its own. Um, where? Oh, I thought there was usually one there. Let's go ahead and wake a few up one at a time. Come and get it. Look at his hand. Oh, he didn't have anything. And there's a steel horned helmet. We'll take that. And some hide bracers. We don't need those. So here, the um, right one's going to be over there. I don't mind these skellies. They're, they're not terrible. Well, there's some studded armor. Uh, not that we're going to use it. But that's okay. So this is kind of a little puzzle. It's not it's not terribly difficult. Oh, if you notice, we are shouting a little uh, faster than is potentially normal. Um, we did pick up we did pick up the um, the amulet to reduce shout time. Uh, from, I believe, from one of the Whiterun guards when we were um, fighting Mjolnir, the dragon. Here, the far right one. Uh, so this is also not a difficult puzzle. The middle one goes right behind you. The left one goes to the far left uh, gate, and the right one goes to the right one, which is currently locked. There we go. A potion of minor stamina. All right. This is kind of weird. Uh, if you remember, if you've ever watched, um, there's some other. Um, I'll pick those up. Mm, what show was it? I don't even remember the show. Mm, it's like CSI, but it's not CSI. Um, Criminal Minds, that's what it is. If you ever watch Criminal Minds, they have an episode where a guy um, is utilizing people and uh, doing stuff with them. I'm not sure what, I think he's killing them uh, in an attempt to like do research for his, uh, his brother. And... Uh, he has shoes, right? And he has hundreds and just piles of shoes. So that just kind of reminded me of it. There's another skelly. There we go. Make him 
go away. We're not, we're not going that way this time. Oh. No, you stop. I like to open up with the, um, the light attack because the animation of the light attack will allow me to press down both um, attack buttons and queue up the power attack before um, before the rest of it. I'm pulling these because sometimes um, I've had it a couple times where the um, the vampire, uh, I believe she's down there instantly or right away, uh, but she, there, I've had a couple times where she's actually pulled with them and, you know, killing them is not hard, but killing them without focusing all your attention or, or killing her afterwards without focusing all your attention on her is just super, super annoying. We're gonna pull this ski bear. No, we're not. He's gonna pull for us. I lost him there. That was my bad. All right. So here, um, when we do fight her, looks like her thrall, um finished right finished expired and turns into a turns into ash here um, I don't think she has the ability to pickpocket the door or to uh, yeah unlock the door so we'll go ahead and unlock it no she knows we're here we know she's there um, we'll use what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and do this perfect um, we're gonna try doing the, the way that we want this to work out is we want to do an unrelenting force to stagger her. Get close, um, probably hit her once, and do a power attack to stagger her again. We have to wait for animations to finish. So what can happen is if she is in her previous stagger animation, when we queue up the power attack, we may not get the stagger, and so on and so forth. Um, the same thing could happen if we do too many light attacks um, because she'll get into an animation that we might not be able to stagger her out of, um, which can cause us some problems, especially with their the way they, they have a spell and it heals them while doing damage to us can become a real problem. So the theory or the way we the well, the way we get away with this or get this done is to unrelenting force stagger her, close the gap, then dual wield power attack to stagger her again. During that stagger we do the, you know, two attacks and then get a, another power attack for stagger. Um, if we're if we do it right, we should be able to kill her in one go without the berserker rage. So we're gonna try that. If it look if we miss the stagger at any point in time, we're gonna pop our berserker rage. So here we're actually gonna set this up. We've closed the distance. We got the berserker rage just encased. Well, we failed that. We're gonna see if we can't just, um, we're not gonna worry about the, uh, so, some of the other stuff, right? We're not gonna worry about the, um, unrelenting force this time we're just gonna go in and zerk her we know she's here we know she's down here um her thrall has expired again We've got the weak frenzy potion. We'll pull this. 
Uh, so what we're going to do here is we're just going to unlock the door. And as soon as we unlock the door, we're going to go berserk. And now we'll get the unrelenting force. Give that. There we go. So as you can see, she's just a regular vampire, and uh, even in Berserk, right? She um, she gave us a good bit. She gave us a bunch. She nearly she took us to half health. Nearly killed us, right? Um, that's what we'll do. Uh, she's actually, I believe, the last one down here. Um, we're just checking anything here, for any goodies that uh, we may want. And then we're we're actually going to heal this up. And then because we're down at the bottom of this, we should be able to sleep for that uh, that nice 24-hour period. Have our berserker rage back up again. Um, I believe the the next vampire that we fight will actually be a master vampire, um, which will force us again to use the berserker rage. Unfortunately, uh, so, or fortunately, for, for us, fortunate that we are an orc, right? Uh, it's, a, it's a nice thing for us. Um, for, the unfortunate thing is uh, for anybody who believes that doing the orc racial and then sleeping like this and doing the orc racial um, at these early levels like this is, uh, anybody who believes that to be kind of a gimmick or a scam, uh, then... This may not. It just might not be the video series for you because we will use. We will use and abuse it during the uh, the early portions of the the game. Later, later, once everything has got its synergy going and everything is um, kind of worked out and everything, you know, we we become more powerful. Um, we shouldn't need it, but it is. It is both our our racial, our crutch. And uh, and whatever else you want to call it. So here we're running all the way back to the uh, the beginning part where we were, um, and then we will go up those stairs that we did not go up before. Almost got ourselves a log to the face there. We hit the first trap on and. You know, dodge the second one. Otherwise, we'd have got a little mouthful. So here's where we went left, and uh, instead we're going to go to the right, which is up the stairs. We've got this door. Um, make sure we're on our Berserker Rage, because um, I'm not sure exactly. Uh, when we see it meet him, um, I just know that the um, the, the vampire. Uh, I believe I believe he's a master vampire, um, but uh, I know he's here. I know he lives through somewhere, and um, hopefully we get the jump on him. Otherwise, you know, if he gets the jump on us, it could be a lot more difficult. We're greedy, so we're gonna check all these corpses. It also gives us uh, a little bit to heal through, which we like, right? We like uh, we like having our healing going because it uh, it helps us to level that up, and we want that to to be good. We also have a level up here, so if we do end up in a sticky spot, we'll utilize the level up to give us. Um, a free reset on health, stamina, and magic, huh? All right. So I believe he happens behind this door. So we'll just make sure we've got everything. We will swap to Unrelenting Force once Berserker Rage is up. And yep, and here he is. Yep. 
So here he's starting off with that uh, annoying heal. We're going to give him that. He's nearly killed us. Where we've got the old beating going on in our ears. Looks like we may have contracted the vampire problem. So we're going to hit our health here. And I don't think we have any perks that we want to get, you know, super, super need to get right now. This needs us to get 60. This needs us to get 50. Uh, this needs 60. Uh, fighting stance we've got. The decapitation requires 50, so we might just hold on to this point so that we can get both the decapitation and that. Um, get what this is. I remember right. Yeah, so savagery is huge. Look at that. When dual power attacks do 50% bonus damage and you can proc a crit on those things. Oof. I believe the crit actually, I'm not sure if the crit applies to the singular hit. So like if you get the crit during the power attack, like if it happens to just the one or if it procs for the entire, you know, four attacks. But um, either way, it's, it's, it's pretty huge. It makes the, um, if you do get that in and it does happen on the crit, it, when you're all also doing, you know, 15 um, or 30 percent chance of doing cri more critical damage, so you get the crit. That just makes it really, really just kind of scales. It kind of like compounds one on top of the other. And you could, I believe, dual wielding is actually um, the highest damage output in the game. It's not the safest. I believe Bo holds that. Okay, so he's nearly killed us again. Um, we're going to pop some potions here because uh, we, we have extras. And because he's real close. Well, looks like we didn't actually need to. We were going to kill him. But hey! And the master vampire is down. Got some vampire boots. I like the look of the vampire armor, so maybe maybe we'll pick it up and utilize it. Um, turn it into something that does qualify as light armor. Uh, I think we can, yeah, so we'll actually wait here for that 24, just in case there's anything else coming up. Um, I don't think there is. I think he's the last boss, but, um, like always with all of the words of powers, when you read them, they, um, they tend to have... A boss like an overlord um, and if we caught an overlord right now with uh, with no no potential for you know berserk that that I think would hurt I don't in fact I don't think we would survive it to be completely honest fear that's nice it is a spell tome um, but it is I believe up to level 9 and given that we're only, I think, level 11, um, I think that constitutes most mobs in the game. We also missed our our escalator here. There we go. Now we've got some uh, some things on some offering plates here. Not sure what they do. Oh, we do have him. So let's uh, let's get this going. On that, put on the run the relenting force. Close some gap. There's the stagger we wanted, and the execute. Terrific. Now, one of the things, I'm not sure how it uh, calculates, but I'll, I'll show you one of the things that's interesting. When it says we do double damage, right? Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure whether that applies to base, like, say, our base weapon value, or if that just applies to outgoing damage. Because one of the things that I have noticed is that when I'm under the effects of Berserk, right, and I'll show you here, um, this weapon says it does 43 damage. 
Um, which leads me to believe that it applies to the base amount, right? Because um, I believe this weapon only does 19 or maybe 21. I'm, we would have to wait for the Berserk to wear off to, to for sure it. Um, but if it's, if it's doubling the base amount, then any of the multipliers, like Dual Savagery or anything like that, should apply afterwards, which makes it even more strong than I... Ex um, I makes, it, makes it really good. I, th I don't know... And it, it makes it really strong early. It's probably what makes it super, super great for really early, along with the having of damage incoming. However, um, I, think, I think it has to work that way, or it almost has to work that way. Um, now, it is technically what, what people consider broken or gimmicky. So it may not, and it may work the other way, which is where it applies afterwards. If it applies after base damage, then, and it's a percentage, right? Then it's compounding on top of all of the other things. So it really depends. I haven't done any like research on exactly when uh, or which one which effects apply before. So like if dual savagery applies before or after berserk, which applies before or after the base damage increase from you know those things. But outside of some really really extensive research, um, it looks to me at the moment like the um, berserk applies instantly and to the base damage of the weapons so here this is a little outlook we're not going to jump off it because i'm pretty sure that'd kill us and uh i think it's more so that you can just start you can fast travel off but like i said we're going to try and keep our fast travel to a a minimum <laughs> Doing a serpentine. I'm not going to read the book. Uh, I am going to. I apparently forgot that healing potion. I'm not going to read many bo books early. Um, I'll read them when my skills go later. We're still utilizing the dagger in the offhand for the uh, attack speed. Um, I'm interested to see it. It might run a combo um, where with the Mayrune's dagger and like another. I believe there. I think it's. I think it's called Storm Shear or Wind Shear. It uh, has a stagger, an, an innate stagger on it, um, and the combo of a potential insta kill with a you know weapon that has a you know stagger on potentially every other attack might just be what we need to to really catapult the um, what I would call the mid game um, so we'll we'll kind of see we'll kind of take that ear by you know take that one by one ear by ear is what I was gonna say that's not gonna work I believe we're just headed down here to uh, back to Falkreath um, We'll do a little bit of selling, maybe some breaking down of things, and uh, I think we're going to talk to the uh, mayor of Falkreath because he did send us a very nice note, you know, requesting that we um, come see him due to uh, some sort of problem that he has. Oh no, that doesn't sound good. Oh, that's not good at all. We have a dragon to deal with. Well, uh, so what we're going to do here, um, because the dragon has popped on us, <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to go into the Jarl's Longhouse. And that'll be the next quest that we do. And we will stop the video here as we will work on this dragon next.
I appreciate y'all for coming. If you have any tips, tricks, uh, critiques, or anything else that you'd like to see, something you'd like to see, you know, something you'd like explained, or something you'd like corrected, um, just leave it in the comments. Well, I'll get to it as soon as I can. Um, other than that, thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.